today we are going to be starting, for once on this channel, a new Let's Play. Instead of a Let's Beat, we'll be, continue, we'll be doing a sequel to a Let's Beat, but making a Let's Play, and this is the game. So we are going to be starting the Let's Play of Super Smash Flash 2, and we will be playing this game a lot because it's it records well, and Roblox doesn't record well, and this is going to be our new Let's Play, so tell me in the comments what you are excited about for this Let's Play. So first we're going to start off with the first mode, and I've played this game before. In, in regular Smash, I mean Mario and Sonic, but in this game, you play Naruto. Let's go. Okay, um, since it's anime, we'll play Goku. Ooh, he's on level 9, dang. I played this game before, so. Alright, I'll play as Naruto versus level 9 Goku. Just to show you how OP Naruto is, like, my god, he's so overpowered. Because of his cloning ability. See, you might hear a lot of keyboard sounds, though. Because I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Savage. Right, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. And this is a level 9 Goku, so let's go. Goku got nothing on us. Let's go. Ah. Goku's like, um, up B. It's like so overpowered, though. It's like obese power, oh my god. So, the reason why I keep doing my up is because it spawns a little clone on the ground. See that, like, dead Naruto on the ground? If he touches that, he'll get frozen for a second and not have a time to counterattack. And that's why, I, that's why I think Naruto's so overpowered. And then his own, his, his clone is an attack, and it's just, it's just awesome. Naruto was, like, one of my, um, first animes. I, this is the only anime I watched when I was really... It was the only good one, too. I never watched Dragon Ball. One time when I was little, I actually snuck out of my room into the living room just so I could watch Naruto because I was bored. I'm like, I don't want to go sleep. Like, I was like five or something and I watched Naruto. <laughs> I thought it was a good show. I don't really understand it, but I thought it was cool. I even got like the like, um, Generation 1 Naruto toy and made psych like, sounds. I still have it. I got it for my birthday when I was really little, so I kind of stopped watching when I grew up. So. Oh, we're wrecking- Oh, he already lost a life? I didn't even notice. Oh, shoot. Oh. Right, there you go. Freaking Naruto's so overpowered. I'm no good against, like, any level 9. So we're gonna end this series. I guess we're going to do matches, like matchups and stuff. And we'll do the event mode, because there's an event mode. And we'll do hit the targets and see if you guys can get my like time or something because I'm actually pretty good at hitting targets with certain characters oh there you go Goku got me for the first time shoot okay okay get that D 
decoy on, so distract him. There you go. Oh shoot, he floated on him. Oh yeah, Goku's a very good character because he can float, and I told you about that up game. Oh, and he got Kaioken, and, you know, Kaioken. Gotta have that move. It's like, if you don't, if you have Goku, you can you can't have him you know, without the coming on top. Shrek for Smash Brothers, probably. <laughs> and this air game's really good. Because he's got the up the the floating ability, sort of like Peach has. And he has, um, and he has the downward up B, or downward aerial, and that's really good. Like, it's like, it's really good. That's the only, that, if I use Goku, I'll use that move a lot. So right now, I'm just doing three stock against Goku to introduce the series. I gotta show you off my main. Well, he's not my main Sonic. I bring out that Sonic game if I need it, but I use Naruto more because he's just more funner to use. I don't get to use him in the real Smash. So, oh shoot! Oh what? Oh, it's gonna be close. All right, we gotta take Goku out. All right, it's time to go Savage mode. Oh, he killed himself! Oh! <laughs> oh god. And remember, if you hear a lot of keyboard noises, it's because this game is intense. And I don't play it like, I don't set up a controller or anything. I just play on my keyboard. And since I am used to playing Smash Flash because of, you know, recent Let's Meets, Stuff. I'm only doing this as a let's play because it's it doesn't even though it has no story mode or anything like no classic mode like um the first flash did it's just more funner and it just has it's just better overall because you practically only have like two attacks in the first match. Okay. Oh, oh he just won the decoy. I love these coins. They really come in handy. Ah. Oh god, go Kaioken. Oh, the decoy is still stopping. You fool. Alright, I think that's it for him. Alright, no. Oh, shoot. Oh! Go! Okay. <laughs> he didn't do anything. What the heck? Oh, Naruto clone throw dot skills. Let's just throw it at him. Just throw it. Pro tips with doing it. There you go. The Hadang thumb thing. I don't I don't want to borrow I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want you to be boy. I only watched the original series. I don't really like the new series. Yeah. Alright, so how much time do we have Oh we only have 50 seconds, so I guess for a few videos it'll just be matchup videos, but that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of super smash flash 2 hope to see you next time when we t use another character to take on another character because you know smash logic right see you in the next video